What's up YouTube, Rudy here, and today we're continuing my Master of Orion 2 Let's Play. Where we last left off, we were looking to colonize a new planet with our colony ship. Unfortunately, the Alkari have staked a claim on the Thog system. I was planning on colonizing this ultra-rich world and then building a colony base to grab all these other planets, but I think for now I will just let the Alkari have this system. We will bide our time. There is a nice planet here to colonize, an ultra-rich planet in Weg. And we will also colonize this medium barren planet. The Alkari, we have been friendly with them so far, but we will most certainly conquer them first when the time comes. Being that they're birds, I'm sure they have no qualms with eating us insect people. What is this? So, a uh, space beam is attacking the galaxy now. Uh, hopefully it's not attacking one of our planets. Actually, if the space amoeba attacks your planet and defeats your defenses, it can turn your planet into a toxic world. Fusion drives. Alright. Our next research will be fighter garrisons, uh, defensive structure. So it looks like the space amoeba is attacking our planet. Amoeba. It's heading towards Zargonia. No doubt it's going to attack the homeworld. That is just unfair. We need to... Like, I'm not sure that my starbase will be able to defeat it. I only have one starbase. I can't build missile bases. I decided at the time I did not need to research missile bases. Um, let's see. I need to construct some ships in the meantime. I don't need... What I can do... I mean, I need some ships and fast. So what I'm thinking is I'll do a frigate class ship. Something that I can maybe hopefully construct a few within four turns. And I think I want to give them missiles. Uh, make them two shot. And I'll just fit as many missiles on here that I can. And I'll leave five empty space. This make the ship cheaper to build. And I think Wasp is an appropriate name. So let's see how many of these we'll be able to construct. So 15 turns to build a single Wasp. I can buy them, that would be good. And Zargonia 1 can help in the construction of the Wasp. I don't need a Hornet. I need a Wasp. That'll be just one turn. Perfect. What else? Who else can help with the defense of Zargonia? I need more ships! Put the Soil Enrichment on hold. I can buy this Wasp. Perfect. All right. Three turns until the Amoeba strikes. Let's see, I can build another Wasp even. It'll take 14 turns. If I put all my researchers into production, I can have it done in two turns. What about all the farmers? Massive food shortage. Fo massive food shortages across the Empire as I rush to construct defensive ships. So I put eight workers there. I can have it in one turn. That's going to give me minus 25 food. Minus 95,000 population. I think I have to do it, though. I can't... I mean, if that amoeba turns this into a toxic world, there'll be no food production for anyone, apart from what New Zarg 1 can produce, which I don't think it's going to be enough. The people will not be happy. But it is for the good of the Empire. Alright, we'll construct one more wasp, and the amoeba is... Oh, two turns away. Alright, my friends, I hope you're ready. One, we'll be able to build one more wasp. 
red alert. So this is the space combat. Oh, what? The, um, the space meeb is attacking my already toxic planet? That doesn't make a whole lot of sense. Whatever. Well, I have a starbase and my ships. And these are all the weapons on my starbase. I guess I'll just start the attack. Those are my mass drivers doing nine damage. And all my ships can stay put and just fire their nuclear missiles. And they're off! Okay, the amoeba had no weapons to fire at me. I guess it needs to get closer. So I guess I might as well launch my missiles and then retreat now. There's nothing... Or no, I should not retreat because maybe my ships can self-destruct if I need to. Alright, the missiles are hitting it. 32 damage, wow. What is the amoeba doing? It's just sort of chilling out. Alright, these ships can close range and blow themselves up. And those amoebas really can't defend themselves against missiles. So let's try this. Uh, Self-destruct. 20 damage. Nice. I, I just don't want to destroy that missile there. And I'll keep uh, this frigate around. Yes. God. What is this amoeba doing? Let me give it a scan. Zero cosmic slimes? Is that damage that I caused to it? That's why it has no weapons to fire at me? I guess so. Well, this should be it. And the amoeba is no more. The threat from beyond the stars. I've defended my world. All right, back to farming, back to research. These uh, ships are pretty handy, actually. Perhaps they'll be useful in my war against the birds. And let's colonize. I'm going to name this system Zoltron Prime. Well, I'll just call it Zoltron in honor of our great leader. And let's start off with a automated factory. Yeah, it's amazing how quickly these ultra-rich colonies can get up and running. Just nine turns to build the automated factory. I like it. Ah, the Bull Rothy. Like a cat with a mouse. But you're a dog person. And I'm an insect. Well, I'm sure they'd be interested in trading with me. Uzor. Oh, they're repulsive. That gives me very limited diplomatic options. Well. I should send these two ships to patrol Zoltron. Director Felina, the naturalist. Farming leader, environmentalist? I don't think so. I'll do a research lab, and then I'll construct an arachnotron. Perfect. All right, let's see how the Bulrathi measure up. Let's take a look at the history graphs. So I have the most population of all the races. I have the Alkari have more buildings. Alkari have a bigger fleet. 
and the Alcari have more technology. The Bolrathi are quite behind the curve in several categories. Maybe the Bolrathi are the ones I should be aiming to conquer first. I guess I'll send the scout ship to scout out the loan system. And I should construct more colony ships. The loan system. Very nice. Rich, rich, abundant gold deposits. They have two frigates and one destroyer. I'm going to go with the Battle Scanner. This is a special system I can put on my ships to increase my beam attack. Commodore Tulok, the Bounty Hunter. It's awfully expensive at 5 BC a turn. I will hire him. All right, we are done with our automated factory. Now we will do a marine barracks, a fighter garrison, and we'll do some housing after that. Get the population up a bit. I need to do something about these spies. We'll go for the anti-grav harness, that will help my ground troops. I'm actually going to redesign the Arachnotron to incorporate a battle scanner. And I'll have to take less... I need to take less of something. I guess less interceptors. So now here I can just swap out these Arachnotrons, and the production will carry over. Still 25 turns. Ah, the Hornet. I can still do housing. Might as well fill up the planet's population. I need more freighters to get my food around. I'll just throw that here. Well, that's very nice of them. Commissioner Gallus, I am not interested in your services. Let's see, what should we construct here? I think this plan should just focus on research. Though, we'll do housing and then biospheres. Uh, no, I want to build housing first. Then once the population is full, I want you to build biospheres. Do you want to delete housing before exam? Nope. Well, that concludes this portion of the Let's Play. Thankfully, we were able to defend Zargonia from the horrific space amoeba. And I hope to see you next time. Thank you for watching.